Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the Spearman correlation, a statistical measure that assesses the strength and direction of the relationship between two random variables, which unlike the Pearson correlation that we have studied in a previous video, which evaluates linear relationships, the Spearman focuses on the rank order of the data, making it a non-parametric measure. Let's see what I mean by that. Imagine you have two sets of data, for instance, the test scores of students in two different subjects, student A and student B. The Pearson correlation would involve calculating the covariance and the standard deviations of the row scores, and then divide the two, assuming a linear relationship between the two variables, which may not always be a good assumption. Look at how our data looks like on the right figure. It doesn't look like the relationship between those two variables is really linear. It's close, but not right there. However, the Spearman correlation takes a different approach, where, instead of relying on the actual values, it works with the rank of the data points. Thus, to compute the Spearman correlation, you first assign ranks to each data point in both variables, and then you compute the Pearson correlation of the result. So you take the covariance of the rankings, and then we divide it by the standard deviation of the two. So what do we achieve by this? Firstly, as mentioned before, the Spearman correlation doesn't assume a linear relationship and it evaluates the monotonic relationship, meaning that as one variable increases, the other either consistently increases or decreases, but not necessarily at a constant rate. This makes the Spearman correlation more suitable for detecting nonlinear relationships. And, in cases where the relationship between variables is not strictly linear, the Spearman correlation might yield a higher correlation coefficient compared to the Pearson correlation. Secondly, another significant advantage of the Spearman correlation is simply its robustness to outliers. In the Pearson correlation, outliers can heavily influence the results as it relies on the actual values of the data points. However, in the Spearman correlation, since we are working with ranks, extreme values have less impact the ranks being less sensitive to outliers and making the Spearman correlation a more reliable measure when dealing with datasets containing unusual or extreme values. Also, as a final note, you may have seen the following formula for the Spearman correlation being thrown around, and you may wonder why. Well, when all initial values are distinct, meaning that there are no tied ranks, the formula for the Spearman correlation simplifies and becomes the one displayed on the screen, where di represents the difference between the ranks of corresponding pairs of variables and n is the number of samples. And that's basically it guys. Thanks for watching and please hit the like button if you enjoyed this explanation. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. See you next time. Bye bye.